Hey everyone, today I'd like to share with you our Oxygenate mapping for Tractor Pro. This is a mapping I used for a lot of years in the clubs, and what I would do is put a piece of foam on top of the turntables, set my controller down right next to the club's mixer, mix two tracks on the mixer, and control two decks with the controller. This is a super inexpensive and powerful way to try controllerism and controllers without dumping a lot of money into your gear. So, today I'd like to explain everything here and show you how to use the mapping. So let's dive right in and uh, take a closer look. So the first thing you want to do um, is of course download the mapping. And to do that, you go to djtechtools.com, click on the mappings tab, and at the bottom of the page you've got the Oxygen 8 mapping. Download it there. Once you've downloaded that mapping, you want to go into Tractor Pro, and you do need Tractor Pro to use this mapping, um, otherwise you can't import custom TSI files. You're going to click on import, and you're going to go ahead and navigate to the file. And once you've found where you've downloaded that file, you're going to see all the different settings we've included. You want to open all of them and then Tractor Pro is going to be perfectly set up for you. Now there's a couple things on this mapping um, which automatically load specific effects. One example would be the echo knob. What this knob is doing is automatically loading an echo and setting up all the settings for you so you don't have to think about anything. Um, but in order for that to work properly, Tractor's internal settings need to be correct. If that doesn't work, you may want to re-import the TSI file again, and then it should work properly. Um, you'll notice that on the controller, I've got a lot of different things going on here first. Um, and before I get into that, I just want to point out one thing, that i have using a external sound card with two lines going into the mixer. Uh, and the reason I was doing that was so I could mix on the club's mixer. So, uh, as I was saying, I've got a lot of different pieces of tape here. These serve two purposes. Number one, they provide a textured surface, so I can uh, have a lot of memory in terms of the texture or the feel of the different buttons. And number two, they allowed me to write the functions of each button. On the top section of the controller is the transport section. This is where you're going to play tracks. You've got pause or Q and play and drop. So your basic transport controls. You've got sync and loop to drop an eight count loop. And we can sync up the right deck and start that one. Basically you can look at this mapping in two halves. The left half is deck A and the right half is deck B. In the top section, the left half is deck A, and the right half is deck B. This whole mapping was designed really just for two decks, and very simple, very efficient two-deck mixing uh, for club performances. All right, so we've got a deck running in deck A. Let's get a deck running in deck B. Now, we've got two controls here. These are the pitch bend controls. They allow you to find the, the beat and match things up. You've also got tempo controls, which basically duplicate the purpose of the pitch uh, bend or the pitch controls on the turntables. Um, now, the reason I put them like this is that you can actually do two things at once and using sort of a chord pattern, hold down tempo bend and pitch bend at the same time or use different variations of them find the beat and get it all lined up. In the upper section you've got some dedicated filters because of course the one thing you always need is a filter. You've got a high pass and a low pass which I put on two full knobs so you have lots of distance and above those you have two dedicated effects knobs and that's all we've got are two dedicated effects. Echo and sampler. The echo we already mentioned it just turns on an echo. And when that's on, you can see I've got a freeze button here. This will control either deck. And then just hit the freeze button again, and that will unfreeze the echo. Right next to it, you've got the sampler. As soon as you turn the knob, the sample will start recording. I'm gonna intentionally try and grab the snare. The actual knob is also controlling the volume, so I turned it all the way up so we hear the full sample. I can now pan between uh, the wet-dry and hear some of the sample and some of the track. With the sampler on, you can use the expression uh, or modulation wheel over here to control the length of the sample.
And when you've got a sample running, the modulation wheel will actually also change the position of the sample. And at any time, if you turn that knob all the way to the left, the sample will be off and you'll hear the deck running again. So it's a cool way to suddenly grab a loop and mess around with it for a little bit um, and do some wild things. Additionally, if you've got the echo on, the modulation wheel will actually modulate that echo. Okay, so you may notice that I've got a foot, uh, quarter inch foot switch back here. And that of course is connected to a foot switch that I've got on the floor. This is a really heavy duty boss foot switch. And what this does is go ahead and acts as a shift function, um, allowing the entire keyboard to do different things. On the top layer, we can control cue points one, two, three, four, and five. So if you're beat juggling and you wanna stop the track, you can actually use the fifth key here to stop it. And then you've got cue points one, two, three, and four, and pause play. Okay, so with the shift or the, your foot switch down, uh, these lower buttons also do something interesting. They're gonna load a slicer and rejuggle the beat. And each of the different um, cues, or each of the different keys, and each of the different keys are going to directly access a different slicer value. And so with one press, it loads the slicer and then you can juggle between the different values. So that's pretty much it. There's our mapping for the Oxygen 8 and for Tractor Pro. Uh, it's a super easy and fun way to explore controllers and a great tool for mixing between two tracks. Um, you can download it for free at djtechtools.com. Uh, and this is Ian Golden, signing off.